I'm Chevy, and today, let's discuss failing on purpose. Welcome to the shed. Cleaned up. I cleaned up my face and the shed for you because yesterday was pretty disgusting. Um, today was Tuesday and I proceeded forward with the stuff I was doing at my work, which was amazing by the way. I've, I've really made leaps and bounds in the last two days, which I've been struggling with for a month, so that was awesome. Um, and then I came home and cleaned this mess up, and tonight I have to cut the grass, which is something I've been avoiding. So, it's bad. But, um, sometimes I get like that. I get in this funk where I don't want to do, um, just general responsibility stuff, like dishes and cleaning and taking the trash out, and things get kind of disgusting. But I, I also feel like that's an important part of my character, that I just let that kind of run its course and get over it. So I don't know. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about failure, but a different kind of failure. Last week, I took a field trip for work to a place that I will not name here. But it was a eye-opening experience. First, it was eye-opening because it was essentially a scam. A place built on lies. Um, think like a small scale Donald Trump. This person uh, is very, very, very happy with himself. He's extremely successful. Don't get me wrong. I mean, multi millionaire, extremely successful. Entrepreneur through and through, but. <sighs> he presents himself as way more than he is in that Donald Trump kind of way. And so I got to see a little bit of the inside of this guy's mind. And he's a creator. He's a engineer. He's a entrepreneur, um, patent holder, you know, the whole thing. And while the presentation was very much not what I expected, it was, it was too vague and salesy. Uh, the, the message that I took away from this person was very straightforward. And I've said on the show before that failure is a key to success. It, it is how you learn. But this guy quoted, I'm gonna quote this guy. I'm not gonna tell you who he is, but I'm gonna quote this guy. Fail your way forward. He said that and I pulled out my notebook and wrote it down which I don't think I was supposed to take notes in this place, but whatever. Failure way forward is his belief and uh, very much my belief as well, except that I don't, I've never thought to put it in those particular words. I do live by the understanding that the more I fail, the better I get at something. Nobody's good at something right off the bat. Failure is required. So I left there with at least a new way of thinking about some things. He showed us lots of failures of his uh, that led to successes. And that is an extremely important aspect to just living life in general. It doesn't have to be making something. It doesn't have to be designing something or writing something or filming something. Any aspect of your life you can apply that principle to. Nobody is good at typing the day they sit down in front of a keyboard, but you can get good at it. You just have to want to. You have to be willing to fail. That is step one. Be willing to fail. If you're not willing to fail, you're never going to be good at whatever it is you're attempting to do because you're never going to be able to succeed because of your failure. And you're never going to, let's, let me put it this way. If you think you're good right off the bat, then you're already wrong. <laughs> you already have the wrong 
perspective. You need to be willing to accept your failure. You need to be willing to admit your failure. That is a key point in growth. So it was an interesting experience, if not for anything other than that, but simply because I have been in a game design slump for like two years now. And I have just had basically no ideas, no fresh ideas. I did a card game last year that I gave away at Gen Con, and it, and it was well received for the 150 people that got it. But it wasn't specifically inspired, it just kind of happened. And But since leaving Pittsburgh, since thinking about my failure in one particular game in particular, <laughs> with one game in particular, I have thought of new ways of looking at that project, and it has come back out of the out of the shadows. Uh, I tweeted a picture of this the other day. Uh, took some more notes and maybe a sample thing here, and I have notes in my notebook, which is upstairs. And that's progress. That's more progress than I've made on that design in the past five years. And that particular design, I have redone. At least two dozen times, probably more than that. I've done it over and over and over. I've tried new, completely new versions. I've tried tearing it down, building it back up. I have failed every way possible with that project. So I feel like it's time to succeed. Does that mean that this iteration is going to succeed? Probably not. It'll probably go through many more revisions based on failures. And I'm perfectly okay with that, as long as I can get the substrate, the, the core. If I say I'm going to make this out of X, then as long as that can stay, then the little failures that I put on top of that can be replaced, as long as that substrate, that base sticks in place. So failing your way forward is basically the way to get good at anything. Sure, there is dumb luck. Dumb luck works. Uh, some people have built careers on it. But that is, for me, very unsatisfying. I need to be able to point to my successes and say, that's why. That thing right there. Failing your way forward is the way to do that. I can feel good about the outcome, and I can repeat the outcome. That's the other thing. I have made things in my life all my life and every now and then I'll make something and it turns out perfect and then I attempt to make it again and version 2 sucks I know I have the skill because I did it once I try it again it sucks and then I stop it's discouraging I'm not willing to continue to fail when I've already proven that I can do it once that's bullcrap I have to learn to cut that out of my life. And if you, if that resonates with you, you need to learn how to cut it out of your life also. So we can learn about it together. How do you cope with that? Tell me about that in the comments. Tell me how you cope with failure. Tell me if you, if failure gets you down. Personally, I only get down about failure when I fail at something that I feel like I'm good at. And there are very few things I feel like I'm good at. And that is by design. I constantly strive to improve at everything I do. Right or wrong, I don't know. I mean, we can discuss it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me how you feel. But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Don't forget, the shed wall is still a thing. If you want to send me something, the contact information is at thedailyshed.com forward slash contact. There's a link to that in the video description or the podcast description if you're listening. Send me a letter, that, just a letter or a postcard, and I will send you a postcard back. Uh, my limited edition awesome sauce postcards or if you want to send me something to hang on the wall that's still available we haven't had mail in a few weeks so let's uh, do something send me something send me a postcard it's like 30 cents to send a postcard and um, I'll put postcards on the wall that's a valid option uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe please 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 share this video with all of your friends and I will see you tomorrow 
Today's random fact comes from elasmoresearch.org. What does the mega mouth shark eat? Known prey of the mega mouth shark consists entirely of planktonic animals, including euphosid shrimps, euphosid shrimps, copepods, and the pancake jellyfish, Atola van Hoffini. Van Hoffini. Yet most plankton is found near the surface, so it's something of a mystery how Mega Mouth manages to find enough to eat. That's the sh shark that, like, it opens its mouth and it just looks like a web, I think, because it just catches plankton, which is super tiny little organisms. I, I am interested to know more about that. I'm gonna go research that.